All right, here we go. This is Kelly Lake. I'm not sure exactly the acreage. I will put a little, I don't know, something down below showing how many acres here and what, what's going on. Uh, at its deepest spot out here, it's 50 feet deep. And this is just a small little basin of a lake. And this lake here has a lot of pike. It has a lot of bass. It has sunfish, panfish of all kinds, crappies, you name it. Um, all these lily pads you see around here, all the way around. I'm gonna work my way all around the lake and then the back corners over there and kind of all the way around here. And come back over to this spot over here and back over to the house, and back to the truck over here. So let's get down and see if we can catch anything here. It does look cool here though. You can see all the lily flowers out here, the big white ones, it just looks so cool. So, all right, well, this is a totally different world for me than doing trout fishing videos. So bear with me here. Let's see if we can uh, get something done here. This looks super weedy and super, super nice because I love cover and this has got a lot of cover. So we'll see how this is going to play out. All right, back in a second. It's getting hot. Let's see what we can keep going here. I'm trying to see if I can wait out these two boats here. I figure if we can get a little bit of shade going here or sun goes down slightly, we'd probably get a lot better bite. But as of right now, got a family with kids over here on this side. Uh, we got a whole family there. As soon as I got over here, they were kind of way down over that way. And I started paddling down this way. And when I got like almost all the way here, they blasted up here at like 100 miles an hour to try to get ahead of me, which I think is just kind of odd. I mean, you got a bass boat, I get it. You see me in a kayak, think, oh, we're gonna get on there before he does. Well, who cares? Anyways, this lake so far has been kind of, I don't know, I've seen some fish, and but I'm not seeing anything spectacular as this, as we right now. So um, I'm gonna just keep trying the whopper plopper for a while and then seeing if we can pull something in. If all else fails, we might have to wait till it gets a little dark or gets a little bit more afternoonish. But we'll see here. Something surprisingly could happen. We don't know. Oh, got one, guys, I got one. I don't know what this is, but probably a bass, or who knows, maybe it's even a small pike. We'll see and find out here. I think I still got him on there. Yeah, it's a nice bass. This is a nice bass, guys, nice. Look what we got here. All right, check that guy out. That's a beauty. All right, check him out. Nice big fat one, first fish of the day, I tell you. Hold on, dude, we'll have you free in a matter of seconds here. All right, ain't nothing massive, but hey, it's the first fish of the day. That's a bass. Measurement on them is about right here. I wouldn't imagine them to be too much, too long. He's about he's about 14 inches. So here we go, 14 inch, 14 inch bass. There we go. We're gonna first fish of the day. We're gonna get him back in. There he goes, back in for somebody else to catch. All right, caught him on the whopper plopper. Woo All right, I got their attention. I'm just pulling it. I'm going to keep throwing this whopper plopper, just pulling it back up to this channel here. See if anything else just happens to be in there. Hey, look, it's Randy for Go Midwest Fishing. Uh, I tell you, it just started, started downpouring super heavy when I was out there and I couldn't take it anymore. I had to come back. Um, I don't know. I still want to go back out. So what I'm going to do here right at this point is just I'm going to grab the yak, pull it up here a little bit farther right now and uh, see if this will pass. Cause if this passes like right there then I can get back in here for at least an hour, hour and a half and then I could try it for some crappies and sunnies for a little while. I've been trying for bass in Northern. The only thing I've had luckily enough is one bass and that's it. So at this point I need to just get myself up here under the shore somewhere and like this and kind of wait out this rain a little bit. You can hear it hitting the lily pads out there. It's coming down with a heavy right now. So as soon as this passes, I'm getting back out there. But for now, I guess I'm sitting in the truck.
So if you're coming out here kayak fishing, this is like the parking lot for it right here. It has plenty of spots right here. And up around the corner over there, there's around, right around this other edge, right over here, there's another backup parking lot over there where you can put single cars and stuff. But yeah, this is a nice little lot. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna go back out here, I think, just for a little bit. I mean, heck, I'm here and the rain's finally stopping. So uh, sun's gonna come back out again. And it's probably gonna roast me. But I'm here. I gotta drain the water out of the kayak here, it looks like. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, is it? Yep. I gotta drain the water out of the kayak. So if you look where my chair is right there, there's actually a puddle right there. So I'm gonna have to pull this up onto the bank here a little bit and snuff her plug out and drain it real fast. But uh, yeah, it's still just a light drizzle out here right now. I don't know. I could get out here for a little bit longer and try to fish and see if I can't get something. That's, I don't know. We'll try to see if we can get at least something. I'm gonna try and just an inline spinner now, just a little old Panther Martin. You know, the kind that I make at home. So we'll see if it gets anything in here. And in the process, we can jam out some tunes over here and listen to this band play over here. Cause I don't know where they're at over here, but they're definitely playing in somebody's basement. All right, let's go over that way once. Oh, got me a fish, boys and girls. I don't know what the heck it is, but man, look at that. That's like the smallest bass I've ever caught. And I ain't kidding you. That is like the tiniest little bass I've ever caught in my life. I don't even know where he went. I don't even know how I'm gonna measure this guy. He's just so small. Look at that, dude. That's like the tiniest little largy I've ever caught in my entire life. Look at him. He's a teeny one. He's a little bitty small. And look at how small he is. He's just like, I guess we hold him up nice and close like here. He looks massive, but yeah, that's a tiny, 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 tiny little largy. But yeah, we'll get him back in the water over here. I don't even have to measure this guy. He's probably like two inches if I'm lucky. So, bye, dude. That was too funny. You hear me? Is he playing in the background? There's somebody on doing like a bass solo or something over here. I'm getting hit, so I'm gonna keep trying to spin her. I'm not gonna take him off right now. I'm gonna leave him on there and see what else happens. Cause for one thing, he's just kinda, he's really not hanging up in the weeds very much. Just a tiny bit, but not very much. And for the most part, we can keep using it on, getting across the surface for the most part. Keep trying them, see what happens. Had a couple hits so far, and we got a small one. So let's see. Ah, oh, this guy's got weeds on him or something, probably. Nope. All right, see if we can get our way out there. And then when we pull it back, we'll just try to get a little higher up. So maybe we'll keep our spinner just a little bit off. Oh, I got a fish on, boys and girls. I got something. Hey, oh, is he still on there or did I lose him? Nope, I got a fish on there. Fish on, fish on. What is it this time? Look at that. That's the first time I've ever caught a sunfish on one of my spinners, guys. Check it out. That is crazy. I've never caught a sunfish on one of my spinners before. And there we go. Kind of right in the lip. He just like, he blasted it. That's hilarious. Well, we're going to get this little dude free. And yeah, that's too funny. All right. All right, so when we first got here, it wasn't working out for us. And now it's not working out for us like we'd like to, but hey, we're catching little teeny fish. Look at this guy, he's just a little itty bitty dude. So we're gonna get him back into the water and on his way. Later, dude. All right, well, <laughs> this is too funny. That was a first, has it never happened before and it's gonna be the first time ever. All right, time to get back to the truck. <laughs>